सो पार्टिकल्स ट्रैवलिंग ऑन ए पैराबोलिक पाथ विद ए कॉन्स्टेंट वेलोसिटी वी एंड सेकेंड पार्ट इज ट्रैवलिंग ऑन एन एलिप्टिकल पाथ एंड अगेन विद ए कॉन्स्टेंट वेलोसिटी वी वी नीड टू फाइंड वट इज द एक्सरेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल एट पॉइंट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इन बुद्ध केसेस सो हियर एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो द पार्टिकल विल बी एट इट्स बॉटम मोस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द पैराबोला एंड हियर एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट विल बी आइर एट सॉरी एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इट विल बी आइर एट दिस पॉइंट और दिस पॉइंट वी नीड टू फाइंड द एक्सरेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल एंड द कर्वेचर रेडियस एट दिस पॉइंट सो एक्सरेशन वी आर गिवन ए पाथ सो विल ब्रेक इट इन टू पार्ट्स ए टी एंड एन and because the velocity is constant in both the cases first thing we can directly say is that at is equal to 0 tangential acceleration is zero because tangential velocity is constant it's v now at origin right at is zero and what is at at origin here so at is towards x direction so i can say at this particular point at is equal to ax is equal to 0 see we are breaking the acceleration into two components one in this direction so one in y direction let's call it ay and one in x direction let's call it ax so ax in x direction what is the acceleration that is the tangential acceleration and tangential acceleration is 0 so ax is also 0 let me draw that also so ax is equal to at is equal to 0 so we need to find ay so we'll use our equation of trajectory so y is equal to ax square so we'll differentiate it we need to find ay right so we need to differentiate it twice and then we can find the value of ay so differentiate it once we get vy is equal to 2ax dx by dt and we differentiate 2ax dx by dt again and we get this value now if you just look at those values at at origin so vy is equal to 0 and that's obvious also because the slope is 0 of this curve so dy by dt must be 0 and here also we put the vec at origin this term also becomes 0 so on origin ay becomes 2a into dx by dt whole square and dx by dt is v so this becomes 2a v square so this is the acceleration which we can see is the normal acceleration so a net is ax square plus ay square and we saw already ax is 0 so a net becomes 2a v square same as ay radius of curvature is v square by a perpendicular and at this point a perpendicular is ay and we already found its value so radius of curvature is v square by ay which is v square by 2av square which will be 1 by 2a now in second part we have ellipse so this equation will still be true here also because the velocity here also is parallel to at and because velocity does not change at is 0 so at is equal to x equal to 0 by same logic is here now we need to find the acceleration so again we'll do the same thing we'll do dy by uh, differentiate it with respect to time so do it once you will get this do it twice you will get this so this is 0 because at these both the points x is 0 so this term becomes 0 and here dy by dt will become 0 because slope is 0 now you might be thinking slope is 0 of dy by dx so how we can say dy by dt is 0 so we can write dy by dx as dy by dt into dx by dt and dx by dt will be v which is constant but times dy by dt so dy by dx becomes v dy by dt and dy by dx is equal to 0 so dy by dt also becomes 0 otherwise also you can think just imagine that 
just before that and just after this point y is same so if y does not change dy by dt must be zero anyway so we simplified this so we got a term of dx by dt whole square and dx by dt at both the points is simply v so this we can write as v square by a square plus 1 by b square times y d2y by dt square so y at these points is plus minus b and d2y by dt square is ay right so we write it like this so from here we got the value of ay as plus minus bv square by a square so we already know x is 0 we got ay so this gives a net is equal to ay is equal to this so at this point and this point will be opposite in direction ay suppose it is going like this so here the ay will be downwards and when it's coming back and going like this then ay will be upwards so that's why we have put plus minus sign and then radius of curvature it is v square by a perpendicular so v is constant v square by a perpendicular is ay just like this whose value we already found so we just put that and this will be our answer for radius of curvature so positive means it will be we are talking about this point so at this point radius of curvature will be positive so circle will be above this and this point it will be negative so a lengthy problem a bit cluttered also but i think it's once you do it once or twice you do it you will get a complete feel of it so here the different thing is in c till now we were given some velocities and positions and we were supposed to find what is the radius of curvature and what is the path of trajectory so here they had given the trajectory and from here we had to back calculate and find the acceleration and the radius of curvatures so good problem